Niall should be joining me here now. Can you hear me, Niall? I can indeed. How's it going, Dylan? I'm go. I'm. It's going well. Thanks. Um. Thanks for joining us here today. No problem. No problem at all. So I suppose just to kind of get things started, um, can you start by kind of explaining your music and um, how would you kind of describe it to someone who had never heard it before? Well, when I'm trying to decide where to send it or where to upload it to, the tag I usually go for is dream pop or indie, indie, indie music of some sort. Yeah. I suppose in the strictest sense, it is kind of indie as in it's independent. It's not, I don't really, it's, mo it's mostly just me doing it. So it's independent in that sense. And just for basically for want of a better word, that seems to cover, cover all, so. everything. So can you give us a bit of an insight as to your history of music? Like what got you interested in performing and what got you started to um, compose in the way that you are now? Hmm, let's see. Well, I mean, like a lot of people, I've, I've always been into music, but when I first realized I could, it was something I could do myself, I probably just saw friends when I was a teenager writing songs and thought, I could do that. And that's probably where I went, probably how I got the idea to do that. I, I suppose so was um, it so was it just kind of um a spur of the moment kind of thing no I, I suppose uh you know maybe it's maybe it's a vanity thing i don't know okay. but um just you know you, you hear something great you, you think you'd like to, to give it a shot i mean i don't think i've ever made something as good as the music i like you know yeah. but um but i guess i was vain enough to try and do it maybe so or think it's that kind maybe of one day so it's kind of an experiment, let's say. It's kind of, this is you trying to, let's say, try something new and put yourself out there. Yeah, I think a lot of people would probably think that that every song they write is like an experiment in that idea and yeah. trying to execute it. And sometimes you fail and sometimes it comes out okay. Sometimes even when you fail to do the thing you were trying to do, it comes out sending, you know, like hopefully something good sometimes. But, uh, you know. Um, how long have you, so how long have you been making music then in the form that you are now well even as a kid i walked around kind of like making up like little ditties and rhymes and things just in the schoolyard yeah just making up little things like that but as long as i've how I've, have i been trying to write songs songs and you know i guess probably since sort of about the age of 15 14 maybe okay yeah i'd say so um how many years are we talking then too many too many uh, <laughs> 20 years probably 20 years so yeah so that's um so that's a lot of history um so i suppose um what have you been up to recently um you know a lockdown has had an impact on everyone but yeah. how has it affected you um a lot of people i've talked to have said that they have suffered from like a um, writer's block or um, either that or the other extreme where they're kind of writing more than they ever have before so which side of the spectrum do you think that you would fall onto i'm on the latter side i'm writing a lot doing a lot of stuff i mean you know i'm like a lot of people i mean i've just I've, there's not much to tell i'm just like sat at home doing not much at all whatsoever okay but uh, and you know you kind of go in and out of phases of like this current lockdown the first two weeks i was a bit down in the dumps and just like doing absolutely nothing and just kind of vegetating and uh then i just kind of got a boost and i suddenly wrote a lot of music um and yeah it comes and goes in waves you know um so i was going to ask um um what particular artists do you look to for inspiration well um i mean the music that I that I love, I, I in a way I don't listen to it so much anymore because I've heard it so many times. So I don't listen to it for inspiration. But the, the music I love is like the Beach Boys yeah. or Alshan, like early kind of maybe rock and roll or rock pop, you might call it. But um, the most inspiring stuff I think, in a way, is kind of like not great music because great music is so good, it can be intimidating that it makes yeah. you think I could never do that and why should I even try but if you hear like a, a, contem a contemporary person do something that you think is pretty good like you know and they're not like it's not the world it's not the world's most amazing song and it's not um super successful or anything like that in a way that's more inspiring more encouraging because it seems like something you can do something in reach you know mm. 
So um, I can't think of an example right now. Even just like something a friend would do. Might, like yeah. if I hear them execute something well, that's more encouraging than, you know, if I hear something absolutely incredible, I just think to myself, geez, what's the point in even trying? You know? So would your kind of approach then to be to kind of take something that someone else has already done and see how you could change it or make it better? No, 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 no. My approach is more just, you know, try to stick a melody over some chords and some days it sounds okay and some days it sounds terrible and sometimes some of them stick out and I'll come back with them and I'll try to put words to them and flesh them out a little bit more. I mean, all these songs that I'm putting out now for the first time, they're all old songs that I've okay. been have backing up for years and if it hadn't been for the first lockdown, I wouldn't have done any, of, wouldn't have released any of them. But um, just that gave me the time or that it gave me a, a reason, something to do basically. So I just decided to start putting them out and so far so good. But so um, tell us about your upcoming EP. Yeah, well, there's I actually got a couple of things in the works at the moment. So one is basically I've got um, a stockpile of songs that I'm just getting out of my system. Like I feel like I've outgrown them and, I'm, and I've, I want to do something different. Like I, I, I don't necessarily hate the songs, but I, they're just there, like built up inside. And I just, I want to just be done with them, you know, not yeah. just call them fit and move on to the next thing. So I'm properly tweaking all of them and getting them, you know, mixed properly and mastered properly and putting them out roughly one a month on Spotify okay. and SoundCloud and everything. And while those are simultaneously coming out, because they're old stuff, stuff I'm listening to and working on at the moment, it's not necessarily anything to do with them so the, what, I'm, what i spent over this this last lockdown i listened to uh well, it's been a while to listen to this for a long time and um, you know my bloody valentine i don't know if you know yeah, that, yeah. Irish band. yeah so i mean like you know they're, they're constantly come up in like classic albums and things so i decided to check it out and i really liked the kind of combination of aggressive heavy music and kind of gentle sweet melodies i like that kind of combination and it's got also like a big wash of sound which ties in a lot of music i like that kind of blurred like wall of sound type thing so at the moment i'm really into that kind of stuff and i've been spending the last like few weeks writing a lot of that stuff and i'm kind of excited about it and hopefully something will come out of that i've written a good few songs but the stuff i'm putting out is just old stuff one bit at a time yeah out of my system. yeah so i find that interesting actually you know you're kind of saying that um you know, you want to, you know, this this is kind of old music and you want to kind of get it out of your system, let's say. Um, yeah. So would you consider yourself to be someone that gets, I don't want to say bored easily, but someone that, that wants to, that's always looking for the next big thing, let's say, that wants to move on to the next project and um, improve on it each time? Mm, not necessarily, no, because the problem is that I can't let go of, of tunes. Like even the ones I'm putting out, I feel like, I want to fix this. I want to change that. I should do this way. I should do that. So in a way, I think of all these songs are just like cover versions of the, what the ideal song should have been. That's never okay. going to be done that way. And if I, and I, I'm just going to like, if I don't put them out now, I never will. And I just need to be able to like, just be done with them and say, yeah. boom, finished, done, move on to something else. Because I, I just get too stuck in them, rewriting and tweaking words and tweaking the phrasings of bits. And so I uh, just trying to finally move on from them actually. So it's more of a perfectionism kind of thing, you know. You don't want yeah, to yeah. Um, get kind of stuck in the stuck stuck in a rut in terms of I need to change this, I have to change that. So yeah, just just want to like just just want to move past them, you know. Yeah, just yeah. Move on to the next chapter in, in music, and if you don't put it out, it's like it never happened, you know. I'm, I'm only learning that now, you know. Uh, I've been writing songs for years, but mm. finally realizing that if you don't if you don't just put them out, it never happened in a way, you know. Yeah, and so. was there a particular spark that really? got you to i suppose take things seriously and get the music out there or was it just the thing yeah it's, it's always been a plan in the back of my mind it's always been a plan in the back of my mind but um yeah the whole coronavirus thing and you know finally having the time to to do it and no excuses not to do it was definitely uh probably a boost you know probably a good reason yeah. i mean it's funny like i get i get bummed out about it all the time like you know every single one when it goes out, I think to myself, this isn't ready. I need to do this. I need to do that. Mm. But I'm ready to just wash my hands of it and go, nah, you know what? I'm just putting it out. And some people, some of them people like, like I get messages from some people, like just people I never met saying like how they liked a certain bit or liked a certain one. 
and yeah that, that's nice like it's good feedback but at the time every single time one went dead i was thinking to myself oh man that's not ready that needs way more time in the oven but so far it's going okay and i mean and again another thing is i'm I, i'm hoping in thinking of these as like a stepping stone to more music in the future mm. you know like it's a learning process and you know if these ones don't hit the mark hopefully i'll learn a little bit from the process and i'll be in it and it's already been a bit like that you know the effort of putting stuff out puts you in touch with people or you know the act of putting it gives you an idea for something different so it leads to new things whereas if you don't put it out like i said it never happens and you're just kind of sitting on a big pile of songs like a dragon in a cave on gold or something or they're not even gold trash <laughs> so um so can you give us a bit of an insight then as to what your plans are for the future uh well just you know keep making music i'm i'm in it for life i'm gonna always be trying to make music trying to write a good song that is like a message in a bottle and goes out into the world and hopefully some of them will land somewhere with someone and communicate with something with someone and uh i'm sure there'll be some terrible ones too but just gonna, i'm gonna keep doing it basically i mean that's my plan so it's be great to do some gigs sorry It'd be great to do some gigs, oh, which yeah. I haven't, I've never, never really performed my own music. I only ever, I, I sometimes like, get, you know, as a working musician, I might play a bit of, like, I play a bit of jazz and play a bit of trad, things like that. But it'd yeah. be nice. I've never played my own music, so I might do that sometime in the future. Can you, um, is there any details that you can share about your upcoming EP? Um, As in where to find it? Well, um, well, the EP like are like this are the songs that are being released now? Are they kind of working towards the? EP? Yeah, so bas basically, I'm I'm gonna release most of them, like in drips, and then towards the end, maybe the rest of the tunes all together in bulk. So, um, basically, over the next few months, they'll be the, I'm gonna be putting out one song from it at a time, yeah, at a time, and then putting it all out together at the end. And do you see yourself, I suppose, releasing albums and EPs? on a long-term basis or is this kind of an experimental project right now to see what happens i would like to stick with the process now that i've started yeah um i have enough material to go to keep up the process for a long period of time um and yeah i'm hoping i'm i mean i'm always gonna be writing music so hopefully i'll always be releasing it too you know mm. um either in bulk or in drips and drabs but yeah, that's the plan. So I hear that um, before lockdown started, you spent most of your time um, teaching music. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, that's that's my job. I'm a piano teacher, a guitar teacher, which is I just, you know, another way to stay in the world of music. And I uh, had to stop that multiple times. So I'm starting again next week uh, after the current lockdown. So I had to stop again recently. But um yeah, it's like it's it's actually a good way to make to you know it keeps you fresh in a way, like because when you're teaching music, you know people that come for lessons they love music, no matter what their level is they they're really into something and that passion is definitely infectious. You know when someone yeah. really loves something, even if it's not the kind of music you like, someone really loves a certain artist, even if something I hate, like it's still it's an you can kind of feed off that energy, you know, and it makes you learn things that you never would have learned. Because they'd be like, hey, how do you play this? And you're like, I don't know. I have to look it up now. So so um, um, do your students know about um, your music that you've released this year? Yes, some of them do. Some of them do. I, I shared a bit of it with some of them. But um, I'm slightly embarrassed by a lot of it, to be honest. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so, so yeah. sometimes I share with them and then I think, God, why did I share that? You know. <laughs> okay. Well, I suppose, you know, as you said yourself, um you know you're always trying to improve on your music and you're you know you want to um get it right so it's all kind of a stepping stone yeah i mean it, it, it's i mean another thing is like how do you even how do you even rate music it's so subjective in yeah. a way but i don't know, I mean like do you do you have a way that you think you can decide what's good and what's not good these are do you have any criteria yeah, no it's like you're saying i don't really think it's that simple um i don't think yeah. it's as simple as like giving like a number or like uh like whatever how many however many stars out of five um you know it's it's different depending on what the standards are and what the genre is and all that kind of thing i think 
yeah it's, it's also hard to know like what makes something good you know yeah like what so um, so yeah sorry we're just about out of time i'm afraid and um, before we go sure. if people are looking online where should they look for more well i'm on spotify as nylophone so that's like xylophone but with an n instead of an x <laughs> Or SoundCloud as Nylophone, or YouTube as Nylophone, or Instagram as Nylophonic, I think. So if you look on any of those places, uh, you'll find me there. Okay, well, um, thank you very much. So this has been Niall of Nylophone. Thanks very much for joining us today, Niall. Cheers, Dan. Thanks very much. Thanks for that. So t thanks a million, and wishing you all the best, and we hope to hear from you yeah. again very soon. Thanks very much, and thanks thank for yeah, listening My and everything pleasure. like that. Thanks Talk a million. to you soon. Bye-bye.